You might want to add your copyright or name in the corner of your saved photos, like this. This is very easy, and once you've created your perfect caption, you can use it again and again on all your photos. First, load your photo and resize it, as shown in earlier demos. I'm going to add a simple copyright to this photo. First, select the text tool and click anywhere on the page and type. A useful trick is to know that if you hold down the Alt key and type the value 0169 on the numeric keypad, then let go of the Alt key, it inserts the copyright symbol. You could just position the text over the photo now. Choose the main selector tool and then just drag the text where you want it. Immediately you can see a problem with black text. It's not very visible over dark photos. I could just click the white colour on the colour line like this. At least I can now see it. But now it's not very visible over a light background. For a simple caption that is probably good enough. But you can make a caption that's visible on any background. So I'm going to undo back to my start text and use some of the Zara tools to create text that can be read over any background. The first thing I'm going to do is make my text bold. If I click the B button here, then any new text appears bold. But I want to change the whole line. The whole text object has to be selected. I could just drag select as you'd expect. But a quick shortcut is to just press the escape key. This removes the cursor and the status line shows one text object selected. Now, if I click the B button, the whole line is made bold. I'm also going to make it italic and increase the text size to 12 point. You could also change the font if you require. To make the text visible on any background, you can add a drop shadow to white text. If I make the text white here, it vanishes because it's on a white background. So I'll make it white after I've added a drop shadow. Before I add a shadow, this text is a little small to work on, so I'm going to zoom in. Select the zoom tool and just drag around the text. Now it's much easier to work with. To apply a drop shadow, just select the shadow tool and then just drag on the object to apply a shadow. In this case, your text. Immediately you can see the shadow is very blurred and rather faint. Using the shadow sliders here, I need to make this a black shadow and much less blurred. This slider alters the darkness and this slider alters the blur of the shadow. I think a 3 or 4 pixel blur is about right. Once I have a shadow, I can click the white colour here to make the text white. Now I just need to position it under the text by dragging on the shadow. Position it so it's a bit to the right and below the main text. Now we can zoom back to the original size. The previous zoom button is provided just for this. Now in the selector tool I can drag the caption around. And you can see it looks good over both a dark and light background. Of course, everything remains editable. So I can still alter the text colour, the shadow values and even the text. If I go into the text tool and click on the caption, I can now edit it. And all the new text retains the shadow. I can resize the text using the text tool or just by dragging the size handles using the selector tool as usual. Once I'm happy, I just save the photo. Select the photo and then the export option. Give it a name and select the right file type. You get the preview window and you can drag around the preview to check your caption is exactly what you want. Click export to save. I'm quickly going to show you how this caption can now be added to a new photo. I'll delete this photo and load a new one by drag and drop as usual. Now you can just drag the caption over the new photo. Ah, but you will see there's a bit of a problem. What's happening is that the caption is being dragged underneath the photo. When you load a new photo, it's placed on top of everything else. But that's easy to fix. Select the photo and then the menu option Arrange. Put to back. Now the caption becomes visible again. And if you want to keep the caption for use in future, just save the Zara file.